Hey, hey, YouTube family, how you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, guys, this is gonna be a double header tonight. I've got my tea ready. Uh, the cup is off season, but I love the size. This is cherry tea, and I've got a little bit of uh, King Charles Transylvania Acacia, or Acacia honey. And if you take a look on the inside of here right quick, you see how I'm almost empty? It's not for me. My daughter's home from college and she loves tea, so she's been enjoying this honey tea. So um, mm, it's really good. So I'm using it to sweeten my tea a little bit. And, um, you know, cheers. Let's get to chatting, okay? Mm. This is a double header. The first video, this video, will be on Jennifer Lopez, Puff Daddy, the 1999 pow 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 case and the uh alleged uh rumor that j-lo according to the new york post article that it was alleged that puff daddy was bragging about the pow pow and said that j-lo was the gun mule i want to know if this had anything to do with ben affleck really pushing speeding up this separation and alleged divorce that's on the horizon. So we're gonna get into that in this video. The second video will be on Taylor Casey, the young lady, the yoga, the yoga student who went away to the Bahamas to a yoga retreat for 30 days and popped up missing. Now her mother has made some shocking alleg allegations. Like I had no idea that Taylor was a uh, transgender uh, all, the mother is saying it's because she believes that the Bahamian police are dragging their feet because Taylor Casey's black and she's transgender. Um, also, I just read, and we're going to go over that as well, one of the lead investigators on the case in the Bahamas, he's been uh, put down, basically. He's been uh, put on suspension. So it's a lot going on th with this case, and I want to get into it in the second video. So, all right, let's get into, let's jump into J-Lo, Puff Daddy, uh, whether or not Ben Affleck has just said, saw all of this. He may know something we don't know that will probably be on the horizon, but we're going to get into it. I thought about this case with, uh, I thought when I start hearing about uh, the victim, remember the victim, her name is, remember she was on uh, News Nation. And she offered to, uh, she still, she was shot in the face. So she offered to have her, the bullet, she still had bullet fragments in her face. And she offered to have that removed, to be, have it tested. But she says that with her own eyes, she, with her own eyes, it was Puff Daddy. Her name is Natanya Rubin. And she said that, yes, yeah, it's, it's him. So now... Record producer Rodney L. Rod, Lil Rod Jones, he claims now this is going to be shocking. He says that J. Lo, he basically, J. Lo was the uh, gun mule. That's what he's alleging in the lawsuit. And Puff Daddy was bragging that he used J. Lo to smuggle the gun into the club. Now, now that this 1999 shooting has come up again now side note shine a rapper shine took he spent 10 years in prison for this case so now that with puff daddy with the um federal um they came in and, and, and basically raided his two of his homes uh and now this probe is up this 1999 pow 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 case is up again and they're saying that J-Lo, uh, that's what's alleged in this lawsuit, that she was the alleged gun mule. I wonder if if Ben Affleck, which would, I would feel the same way. If I know that somebody I'm seeing that I'm married to and he's involved with that stuff, but you know what, I would not, I would not be getting married multiple times. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing that, but 
I think for would that's serious. Not to say that that's actually what happened, but I'm wondering now if maybe this issue with J Lo and Ben Affleck and this sudden breakup, what pushed it, what accelerated it so fast? I'm wondering if the feds came knocking on that door, boom, boop, 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 and uh, said, J Lo, get your lawyer. You need to come on in so we can revisit this case because uh, that would freak me out. Because what are the legal implications if she was, in fact, the mule, the G-U-N mule? Really? And I'm not saying that she is, but I'm just going by the articles that are written in Forbes magazine. And Forbes here, they say their title, the article is, Why the 1999 Shooting, where Diddy and Jennifer Lopez were arrested has new attention on it and yeah and this was the end of march and then uh around the same the same day um new york post got this article fed set to white and diddy sex probe over claims rapper boasted about pow powing people bribing jurors and using j-lo as g-u-n mule who who want to be caught up in that crap? Another thing, too, side note, J-Lo and uh, Puff Daddy dated for two years. That is, Puff Daddy is one disgusting. He's, I mean, he was always disgusting to me. I'm sorry. From day one when I saw him, how does she, how was she able to sleep with this man knowing that he's not a very attractive man? Also, he was beating girls in college and treating girls like crap in college. So he met J-Lo. What kind of abuse did she go through? Now, maybe he did not do that to her. But one thing we know for sure is one of the bodyguards said that he would send Jennifer Lopez upstairs for the night when they would live together. And he'd be downstairs messing around with another girl. So this is all highly weird stuff. But. Anyways, getting back to the Ben Affleck, uh, I wonder if he he know more than what he would ever say. But this is just kind of a, a prequel. This is like a preview of what's to happen. Maybe he just just like I'm cutting ties. I'm just I'm just asking questions here. We don't know if this is the truth or not. But I'm just, I, you know, you know what, how I am. I'm always skeptical. And uh, that incident that night, you know, another thing I thought was strange is that uh, Puff Daddy got off. J-Lo, they just let her go. Um, and then Shine took 10 years uh, for Puff for this case. If one of us get called arrested like that we wouldn't i don't think we would be getting away with it that fast like puff got off and j-lo that money money talks money and celebrity talks but i can tell you if 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 it happened to me and i happen to be but i wouldn't hang out with i i, I wouldn't give a damn how much money puff daddy got there's no way in hell i'd be hanging out with them but you know j-lo is jenny from the block so she can handle Puff Daddy. I, I believe she handled his ass. And when it got too hot after this case, she was smart and she left. So my thing, though, is that legally, how was she able to get out of that? I mean, I'm just saying in general, I don't know. But anyways, what do you guys think? Do you think that this this news here do you think the feds knocked on Jen and ben, Benifer's door in that $68 million mansion and it freaked Ben Affleck out? And he was like, oh, no, I'm out of here. Because when the feds come a knocking, he was like, oh, no, hell no. Mm -mm. He's like an Oscar winning actor, producer. No, he's an Oscar winning director. Um, he's a gazillion. He's a millionaire. We know he is. And he's respected in the industry. And now he's going to be t uh, tied to Puff Daddy adjacently because his wife was riding Puff Daddy for two years and allegedly was a G-U-N mule. 
I mean, this is crazy. So I can't wait to see how, how all of this work out, sort itself out. But I am almost, I am, in my opinion, this is mine. I do believe that the feds knocked on JLo's door. It was like, get your attorney. We got questions, okay? I really do believe that because they want to know what she knows. So I'm sure they called her in. And I'm sure, you know, and Ben Affleck, because let me tell you, I don't have people in my inner circle being called in by the F, by the feds or the police or none of that. No, uh-uh, we don't do that around here. We try to keep shit clean, clean as a whistle over here. So I don't, you, uh, J-Lo Red Robe with Puff Daddy for two years, and he was running around. He's an apex predator, running around, destroying lives since he was in college. So, and she was able to handle it. One thing I can say about J-Lo, because she handled his ass, and when she was done, she left, but you noticed she was mute. She didn't say nothing bad about him, So, because I guess she got what she needed. But anyways, guys, leave your comments in the chat. Let me know what you think. I will chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao. Mwah.